welcome back to Signature Sense. My name is Ryan, and today we're going to be looking at CAD CAD by Finks Arts and Accoutrements, which is their take on the classic barbershop scent. Okay, so CAD CAD is released was released by Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements, and if you don't know about Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements, they are a house that makes uh, scents, a lot of classic formulations, including homages and also original scents using all natural ingredients and even diffusing some of their own oils. They're very fresh, crisp, and clean, and I have really, really started to love this house. So barbershop scents, we all love them. For those of us who are in the classic scent, classic masculine scent genre, barbershop scents are usually right at the top of the list. They're, they make you feel clean, they're fresh, they're excellent daytime scents, there's just a lot to love about them. They're, they're usually, they have a little bit of talciness or powderiness. There's a lot of usually bergamot and stuff like this on the top. Something fresh and clean and very, very masculine, usually not sweet. For example, Clubman Panade is one of the most famous ones. That one's been around for over 200 years and you can still find it. I have a review video on that and you can check it out below. I also put Brute in that category. Something about those, that cleanness of the barbershop scent. So I'm really, really excited to try this stuff as I've really had a good experience with this house so far. Okay, so a smell test. First, we're gonna smell it out of the bottle and on some paper to give ourselves a baseline and get an idea of what this may or may not morph onto the skin, including your own skin. Because we both have different skin chemistries, so by giving you the baseline, it may give you an idea, something to compare it to. After doing getting our baseline, I'm gonna put some on the skin and give my initial reaction to how it opens and figure out what it's projecting as. And then I'm going to disappear for a while. I'm going to come back and share my observations of the dry down stages, its projection and performance and how I personify the scent. Okay, let's dive in. Okay, so before I jump into the bottle, let's look at the note breakdown. So this one is pretty straightforward. You have talc, rose, bergamot, oak moss, vetiver, coumarin, and musk. That is the note breakdown. It doesn't give a distinction between the opening, the heart, and the base. Also, they're using... Uh, rose water in this, glycerin, and some menthol according to the perfumer. So let's give it a smell out of the bottle. Oh, it's so good. It's right away, it smells like a barbershop scent. You can smell there's a talciness to it. It has that fresh bergamot. I'm not getting a strong rose, which I like. I, I'm hit or miss with rose. I'm glad it doesn't have an overwhelming rose scent. It's mostly the fresh talciness to it. It smells, yeah, it smells like a very fresh talky barbershop scent. So I'm gonna give this on the paper now and let's see how this profile develops. Let's splash this on. Okay, so let's give this a smell off the paper and see how this scent profile develops. Okay, so it is different on the paper. The talciness is still there, but I'm getting more well, you have the bergamot and there's that menthol, that mentholness. It's almost, to my nose, slightly minty. Maybe it's the way it's blending with the other scents. But the menthol's got a very, adds a nice, fresh kick. It's not a menthol that makes your, gives you that nose freeze. It's not that strong. It's more of a, a supporting cast. It's definitely there, though. And it's blending with, like, the bergamot. And I'm not getting rose, but I'm getting a very slight tinge of floral, not flowery floral, just something that's kind of helped painting this to give it like a fresh uh, scent. This is very, very nice. It definitely is barbershoppy and I'm very, very impressed so far. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my skin and let's see how this does. So I've already decanted the juice. This one's pretty clear. There is a slight, it might not be coming on camera. You can see a little bit there. There's a slight yellowiness to it, which is kind of cool. Okay, a nice little shine there. Oh, wow. In the air, it's um, a lot of bergamot. A lot of, it's just, the best accord that I, way I can describe is just fresh. It's just fresh and clean. It's a classic masculine fresh. It's not a uh, sweet or, it just smells like a very nice classic men opening. It's very, very nice. So I'm gonna give this a nice healthy spray. Oh man, does this smell good in the air. Ooh. Wow, okay. 
I'm really liking this. I'm gonna put a little bit on my clothes too, just to see if I can get a, uh, some of these uh, project differently on the clothes as versus the skin, which I, uh, in my last video I made about uh, the one with the Hedion, I forget the name of it, can't, it's drawn a blank. Differ on the clothes and on the skin, so I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that. Okay, so actually I'm tasting a bit, and it doesn't like taste bad per se, I'm actually tasting like menthol. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in. Menthol mint. Menthol mint is very prominent. Minty, minty, minty. So, oh, okay, so versus the paper, the, and this is not bad. The menthol is that, is that Vicks VapoRub. It doesn't smell like Vicks VapoRub, but it has that effect of like, it makes your nose cold. So this is a nose freezer. And because of that, it does initially, and this is not going to last long. I've smelled other ones from this house that have this. This is going to last, uh, you know, not a huge amount. It does kind of knock out the nose a little bit though, so it's kind of hard to pick up other stuff. But I am still getting that fresh bergamot that comes up through that menthol. So in summary, and basically it smells like it does on the paper, but the menthol, the minty menthol is way more pronounced. It smells very nice, fresh, invigorating, crisp, and clean. I'm going to go ahead now and disappear and spend some time with this, and I will check back in and let you know about the dry down stages. Hey, I am back with some awesome observations to share about this fragrance CAD. After the first 10 minutes or so, give or take, once the mentholness calms down a little bit, uh, a nice masculine, not grassy vetiver starts to come up. It's kind of like a musky vetiver which is still supported by the freshness of the bergamot and the minty mentholness. So after about 30 minutes or so, the vetiver really starts to come up and it kind of takes center stage as the heart. It's beautifully wrapped in this kumarin and also it has the remnants of the bergamot and a little bit of the mint, minty menthol is actually still there, creating a very nice, uh, fresh, pleasant smell that's got that masculinity of the vetiver so one hour in i'm i was getting some soapy wafts from this and a really really nice sillage trail so i was at a restaurant and i got up to go get I, I forgot what i was doing i think i was going to get some napkins or something so i had to walk about you know 30 feet or so and then i came back and then i caught like the backwash of this sillage trail uh, from this stuff now the sillage trail i'll talk more about that in the projection segment okay so over an hour in, something interesting happened. It started to like mushroom. By that I mean, it's like the scent all of a sudden kicked up another volume. The waft was much more noticeable as I am sitting in one place. And believe it or not, even after an hour, I am st I was still getting a menthol-y, minty aftertaste, more of the menthol. The menthol is sl was slightly painted with a little bit of mint. Even after an hour, you were still getting that fresh, invigorating smell uh, on the back end of it. There's also a little bit of the bergamot and like a, the best way I can describe it is a slightly fruity floral. It doesn't, the way that it sounds, I don't think it paints it. It's, it's kind of hard to explain, but a fruity floral type of note that rounds off that smell. So at this point also, the vetiver volume gets turned down where it's, it's still distinguishable as a note. Like you can smell and say, oh, that's vetiver, but it's not so, so prominent. There is a nice blend with that vetiver uh, a nice blend that rounds with that vetiver of this coumarin and then this this oak moss also comes to the top. That would say it doesn't come to the top, it doesn't like take center stage, but it, it comes up through and it becomes much more prominent and it works in this beautiful blend. And again, it's rounded off with this gentle, frutal, floral-like aftertaste that is not like sweet or it's not, it's kind of difficult to explain, it's just very, very pleasant. So after two hours in, it kind of reminded me a little bit of like a high-end shaving cream type of smell. The vetiver at this point has receded a lot. It's still there, but it's so receded, to it's like blended in. You got that coumarin still there, and the moss is also very, very present here as well. And maybe a little bit of that subtle floral note, that subtle fruity floral, just to round it off to give it that kind of, that together it just creates this like shaving cream, high-end shaving cream vibe to me. And also there's a nice, mossy by oak mossy by i really really appreciated that and believe it or not even at this point over two hours in you're still getting off the skin 
a little bit of that mintholy freshness, a mint, uh, mentholy, slightly minty freshness. Uh, it's really, really incredible. So the quality of the smell, just like the rest of these Phoenix Aries and accoutrements, uh, this stuff smells very, very high quality. The the freshness of the naturals this guy uses is just a whole nother level. Again, this is not a cheap smelling thing. It's very, very high end smelling because of those naturals. Now, let me round off the dry down stages by talking about the projection and performance, and I'll talk also more about the longevity. Okay, so the projection, this puts off a very respectable, nice sillage trail for the first one to two hours, give or take. You might get a little bit farther out of that, especially if you're overspraying this on clothes or overspraying in general, which you can do with this stuff because it's not overpowering and it's very, very cheap relative to what you're getting. It's $26 for 100 mil of this EDC. So it's an easy oversprayer. Because of those naturals being used, the scent isn't thick and aggressive or off-putting or polarizing. It's quite the opposite, actually. It's very, very attractive. It's such a fresh, high-quality, pleasant smell that's not overbearing. And I have to say that I was getting better wafts of this stuff while in the warmer indoors versus the colder outside. It's in the 40s here today in Portland. I wasn't really getting this so much outside, but I was getting it whilst inside more. So after the first few hours or so, this stuff comes in closer and it's not a skin scent by any means, but it's there. It's not reaching out and like dominating your nostrils, but this is one that is like, I'm getting wafts of this stuff in between in those quiet moments. So I'm working on the computer, I'm doing something, and then I have a little pause. And then all of a sudden it's like, because the uh, definite stimulation turns down on the outside, I get a gentle, a little waft of this stuff. And it's just, it's a very, um, just a high, I did a review on the uh, scent the other day called Good Vibrations. This one for me, although it's called CAD, he calls it CAD, I would call this one High Vibrations. So it's not loud, but it is charming. I think it's because the way that this stuff performs, it's kind of a freshy scent. It's not like a deep, dark, rich, kind of sticky, uh, thick scent. This is very, very much uh, like a, a freshy vibe to it. So I think you're going to get at least around about six to eight hours out of this stuff. Um, again, does sit closer as it goes along, but it's a very gentlemanly, beautiful. Uh, I like the way this stuff projects. I love it as a fresh scent. And I'll talk more about the versatility in, the, in, a, in a later segment. But that said, if you layer this stuff with any other, other products, like they have solid cologne, which uh, one of the subscribers commented on my, one of my past videos, he likes, or they like to layer that solid cologne with this stuff with the spray of EDC. They also have the deodorant, they have the shampoo conditioner, they have aftershave, they have the soaps, they have everything for this stuff. And again, if you overspray this, especially on clothes, you're gonna get more time out of this. I didn't spray it that much. I could have easily sprayed more. So I think you'll get at least six to eight hours out of this stuff. Okay, so let's talk about the charm of the scent. What are some of the X factor qualities that this scent brings to the table? So I think the charm of this stuff becomes from the pleasantness of it, how it smells, the quality of the smell, and then also how it projects. It's opposite of a challenging scent. It's not polarizing, but it still has a very, very unique vibe to it. It's got character. The general chord is fresh and bright, but it's grounded in a masculinity with that vetiver, with the oak moss, but it's not overly macho. It's definitely a crowd pleaser, this one. Between the extreme pleasantness of the smell and the way that it projects, especially in the first couple hours, I think this one is a head turner. It's something that's going to get people's attention. They want to know, like, what the heck is that gentle but very pleasant smell that just flittered up my nose? Where did that come from and what is that smell? It's almost like this is one that they can't help but kind of turn their head when you walk by. It's that pleasant. I feel like this is one of those ones where if somebody leaned in, they would almost be compelled to like get a, a nice pull, like especially in an intimate moment. This is one that they're going to want to smell your neck. They're going to want to smell your clothes. They're going to close their eyes and just smell. It's got kind of that kind of vibe to it. There is something pleasant and comforting about this stuff. It just has that X factor charm to it. Okay. The personification of this scent. The personification of the scent to me is someone with a really, really bright personality. This is somebody who, who has that smile who can just light up a room and just by them smiling, you want to also smile with them. People like the way that they feel when they're around this type of person. This person is polite. They have good etiquette. 
They dress unoffensively, but they also have a unique style. So they dress well, but also down. Their clothes, they have that character. They're, they're dressed so you respect and appreciate them, but you're, they don't make you feel uncomfortable. They're not a pure people pleaser, but they are a nice guy. And this is a, a person who people trust inherently, even if they don't know why. Okay, let's talk about this sense of versatility. This is a super versatile scent to me. It's a freshie with decent legs and it can be worn at any time and any season. I think this makes for a perfect out of the shower to start your day. It makes a perfect office scent. It's a great gym scent. It's a great daytime scent. It's a little bit fresh and bright for evening, but you could still pull this off as an evening scent. Okay, let's talk about the genders. This is definitely a masculine leaning scent. Although I do think the right woman could pull this off, but it is a masculine scent. Mature versus young. This is a versatile scent. I think any age group could pull this off. It's just an all around, very, very pleasing, versatile scent, but it has a nice uniqueness to it where you're not gonna smell like every other fresh. It's because of that those high quality oils and just the concoction, the blend, the way that this, the scent profile, this stuff, I just can't put it into words. It's kind of like, sunlight in a bottle it's it's so pleasant to smell this stuff it's one of those ones you just want to you want to keep diving in and smell so what are my final thoughts what's my judgment on this stuff i mean i've kind of already given it away a little bit as i'm talking about it i have to say i've been i have been holding back i am very very excited about this one this one of the ones i have reviewed has shot to the top of the list this one's tied with like two or three other ones by far, probably the best freshie I've smelled in general of all the scents I've smelled. This one, is because, again, it's because of that naturalness to it, the quality of the smell. It's There's something about this stuff that makes me want to pull this on. I, I really cannot wait to buy a bottle of the EDC for this stuff as my uh, probably a go-to fresh scent. The minty menthol, the soapiness, the way that it mushrooms, the nice sillage trail that's not overbearing. It's not offensive, but it's also unique. It's got this charm to it where people just want to smell it. It just makes you want to smile, this stuff. And on top of that, the versatility is, is through the roof. You can literally wear this. This is one of, if not the dumbest reaches, as they say, that you can have in your collection. You will never go wrong wearing this stuff. And finally, the value, what you're getting. $26 for 100 mil is, is plus shipping, of course, is insane to me. I mean, it's cheap enough where you can you can over spray. I mean, you could put 10 sprays on without even blinking. You can afford to buy their other products that will layer this on. Like I would probably maybe get the deodorant. I'm also interested to try the cologne and also the EDP. They have EDPs of all these things. One of the real cool things I like about their EDPs where you see a lot of the companies when they have an EDT and then they release an EDP, they change the they change it. So these guys' EDPs, the chem, it's the same thing. It's just the concentration is literally higher, higher concentrated. They don't add or subtract any uh, ingredients or notes. It's the same exact thing you enjoy, just in a better concentration. Although I have heard that the EDPs from this company are hit or miss as far as a lot of people are, some people are saying the EDCs are performing just as well as the EDPs. So it's one that you'd have to experiment with. So all in all, in summary, this is a very desirable scent. I highly recommend that you give a, get a sample of this at the least. They're only $1 plus shipping. Um, your best bet is to go on and get several. They, these guys have, Phoenix Arts Accoutrements has so many scents. I've only gotten 11 there and there is still a laundry list of ones that I want to try. I, I'm just going to go on like I did before. I grabbed 11, a dollar each. You pay a little bit of shipping. You get a, a nice big batch. I've, I've gotten days of excitement and joy out of trying all these different scents. I still have, I think, three or four left. It's really fun to try these. And if you get into it like I have, it, it just, they keep going. I mean, I haven't found one that I, I have hated yet so far. Okay, so to wrap up, based on this review, would you give this stuff a try? Would you buy a bottle of this stuff? Does it sound like something you would like? Or maybe you have already tried it. Leave a comment below and let me know what your thoughts are. And in general, what are your thoughts about this review? What did you like? What did you not like? What would you like to see more in the future? Leave a comment and I would love to jump in a discussion with you guys. Remember, waft kindness to others. God bless.